If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, can you find love if you're shy? Answer by Jonathan R. Strong. Well, we only know about you what you've shared, so any advice or commentary will be limited. That said, being shy will tend to reduce the number of opportunities you get to meet other and get close to others, but it certainly doesn't mean that you're doomed. There are enormous numbers of shy people, and overweight people, who have found love. Shutting people out certainly makes it harder, but you can work on that and I'm guessing you can get past it. Don't worry that you're still a virgin. Sex in itself shouldn't be the objective, as that could motivate you to make some bad choices. When you find the right person, that will likely come naturally as part of the relationship. From your description, losing weight made you feel more confident, and that in turn sounds like it will help relieve some of your lack of confidence. It suggests you consider separating these issues a bit, don't focus on losing weight with the idea that it will automatically help you gain confidence and start dating. Losing weight is great, but you should do it for you if it can make you healthier and help you feel better. Focus on taking care of you, for your own sake and don't worry about second right outcomes. Confidence, less shyness, and a more active social life will likely follow as byproducts of you taking better care of yourself, and that's great. But if you focus on all of those as measures of your success in taking a care of yourself, e.g., losing weight, you'll quite possibly be too quick to judge that it's not working and wind up sabotaging yourself. Instead, let getting healthy be an objective in itself, and judge its effectiveness solely by improvements in your health, weight, etc. Meanwhile, classic advice is to spend time doing things that you really enjoy doing, and notice who's around you or might have similar interests. That's a great way to get past immediate concerns about weight, for example, as a way to judge potential compatibility. If you, you spend a day at a shopping mall, or in a crowded city like New York or LA, and really look around you, you'll see an incredibly variety of people of all shapes and sizes, and in all sorts of combinations like short with tall, heavy with thin, etc. It's a real eye opener. It's not much to go on, but even though you describe yourself as shy and withdrawn, your question actually somehow gave the impression that you are motivated to make some changes, and came across as positive. I sense a spark of that optimism and sense of potential, and encourage you to fan the flames. You're young and have an enormous life ahead, and you're in an age where you have endless possibilities. Pretty exciting time, even if stressful at the moment. Finally, if you can't get to where you want to be on your own, it suggests that y'all make more progress with a professional than with random folks on sites like this. If you do consider seeking out a professional at some point, an approach to psychology that's great for issues like this is called CBT, or Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Answer by, Sonia Gomez. You can definitely find love. Let me ask you this, what does this love look like to you and why do you want it? This is a weird time in culture in terms of our interpretations of love. The media has us believing that we must possess certain traits and characteristics in order to attract romance. In a sense, this is true. There is a certain amount of wooing that needs to take place, but that does not mean being an outgoing Barbie doll who is a kinky beast in the bedroom. My advice to you is to be yourself. You're shy, socially awkward, amazing self. Join online communities, meet up groups and participate in activities that you are interested in. There are groups specifically geared for introverts and shy individuals. You are not the only one. There are a ton of people who feel left out. Quite honestly, no one truly feels as if they fit in. Everyone is lost trying to find success, love and acceptance but play it off as if they're fine. Remember, online dating is a business. Just like any other businesses out there, they acquire customers and make profits through the customer's insecurities. You have to get them where the pain is to sell more. So, don't feel discouraged because you are not where you are supposed to be. As Shakespeare put it, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. I believe in you. For more inspiration, like inspire yourself. Inspire others. On Facebook, answer by, Samantha Barton. Honestly, you are just like me. I am 21, a virgin, suffer from social and other anxieties, and I'm overweight. But you know what? I am also in love with the person I believe to be my soulmate. He and I met when I was 18, right after graduation. The difference with him was, I wasn't looking to date anyone. We became friends and, over the next year and a half, became inseparable. Then came the fateful day in January. 
I finally got up the courage to admit to him that I was falling for him. And he returned my feeling, saying he had been feeling it for a while but didn't want to scare me or pressure me into anything. Almost a year and a half later, we are completely in love. He knows me better than anyone and I've never felt safer in my entire life. Moral of the story? Don't give up. There are still wonderful guys out there who will love you for the beautiful person you are. Hang in there.